Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Tarot. Welcome back to another Pick a Card reading. What you don't see about yourself. Subscribers request. This reading is timeless and for this reading there are four piles to choose from. Pile one, Malachite Elephant. Pile two, Rose Quartz Skull. Pile three, Lapis Lazuli Angel. And cuatro, Pile four, El Gato Obsidian Cat. Take a deep breath and make your selection. If you chose the elephant, pile one, here's your reading. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Morgan Greer Tarot. This is the Samira May Tarot. The Fool, Two of Swords. Five of Cups, Messy Tarot, one of my many decks available at MakePlayingCards.com. The Magician, The Lovers, Eight of Cups. Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. What you don't see about yourself is that you're very attractive to a lot of people. You have mass appeal. You're unreasonably attractive. You could say universally attractive. You appeal to all kinds of people. You have presence. You have charisma. When you speak, people pay attention. It's effortless for you. You're able to enthrall people. You're able to mesmerize people. I see an innate acting ability. You could do really well on the stage or on the screen. It could be if you chose pile one you could have a really tight aspect in your natal chart between Mars and Venus. You could have the conjunction, tight or five degrees or less, one example of many. You could have Mars at 14 Libra, Venus at 16 Libra, something like that. 
but when you have the Mars Venus conjunction in your natal chart or the trine sextile opposition square you're going to have this magnetism you're going to have this charisma that just draws people to you what you don't see about yourself is that you have natural leadership abilities um, you're very persuasive you could be a lawyer so you don't just have intelligence you have charismatic intelligence uh, it's very easy for you to get people to see your side of things to see your perspective your perspective makes sense to people I see a lot of sadness around someone from your childhood. Maybe you lost a parent at an early age. There's some loss, there's some deprivation, and this may have given you a shaky sense of self. Um, you don't see your value You don't see how powerful you are. You could make a tremendous impact through writing, poetry, fiction. As far as um, romantic sexual relationships go, I'm seeing quality, not quantity. You may go through these really dr long dry spells, but when you fall in love, I feel like it is usually mutual and it's intense and it's like a soul connection. If you chose pile one, it's very likely you've had at least one soulmate experience in your life. Maybe there was someone you loved deeply when you were younger and you lost that person. I call out astral combos for fun. If you chose pile one, you could have sun in Aries, Aquarius rising, moon in Gemini, one possibility of many. So this reading is rather short. I'm not going to use dice or tiles or any of that. I'm trying to be quiet because it's late in San Antonio. I just uploaded a video that I knew was not going to get many views. I just felt compelled to upload it, um, a reading on Gabby Petito. And so I wanted to do a pick a card after that to get the numbers up. I'm very conscious of the numbers. I'm very conscious of the fact that um, November 18th, 2021 will be my three-year anniversary with this channel and I would love to have 20,000 subscribers before the year ends so timeless reading but as I upload this it is September I think today's the 23rd Wednesday the 23rd 2021 that is what I have for pile one I hope that helps feel free to like comment share Subscribe, click the bell for notifications, check out my numerous playlist and my zodiac readings, which is Gracias. And if you chose the Rose Corpse Skull, Pile 2, here is your reading. The Samira May Tarot, I bought this at Etsy. Seven of Wands. The Hermit, Five of Pentacles, the Morgan Greer Tarot, the Magician, the 
here are fun. Ten of Wands. Messy Tarot, one of my many decks available at makeplaincards.com. Ten of Wands again. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Three of Cups. And I use this blank card as an amplifier. It amplifies the cards around it. It's amplifying the Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups. Okay. What you don't see about yourself is that you have sex appeal. You feel like you don't have sex appeal. You feel like you aren't sexy because you're serious. You're an introvert. You're an overcomer. You've had a lot of obstacles in your life, more than your fair share. You could have had a lot of responsibilities at an early age. You could have had a parent who was an addict and you had to take care of yourself and your younger siblings. Uh, it could be that you had parents who expected a lot from you there was a big emphasis on grades. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of struggle. I'm seeing Capricorn and Saturn. You could be a tenth houser, meaning you could have some personal planets in the tenth house, the house of Saturn, Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn rising. I'll pick out an astral combo after I discuss these cards. You feel like it's really hard to create, to manifest the life that you want. You feel like you have to fight for survival. You feel like you have more than your fair share of bad luck, obstacles, limitations. Um, you may have had a learning disability You may have struggled in school. Um, it may have taken you a really long time to get a college degree. I can relate to this because I've got Capricorn in my chart and I've got Saturn in the 10th house. I took speech therapy when I was in kindergarten um, and I didn't get my bachelor's of arts, bachelor of arts in English until I was in my 40s. So, and I'm the eldest of three kids. You may be the eldest. You may have younger siblings who have relied on you. You could be helping out vulnerable family members. You could be helping out an elderly family member. I feel like someone's relying on you. You could be a single parent, but you have a lot of responsibilities and you don't realize how sexy you are. What makes you so sexy? It's, um your character. You have integrity and you're strong as hell. You're pretty much a badass. Life keeps throwing things at you and throwing things and you don't give up and you don't fall apart. You're extremely strong. People rely on you for your strength. Could be that you've overcome poverty. Maybe you grew up in poverty, you grew up on food stamps, you grew up in a working class family. Maybe you heard your parents arguing about money a lot. There was a lot of stress regarding money. You could have grown up in a really strict religious household. And you don't get it. You don't see what a badass you are. 
but you're very attractive. You have sex appeal. So if you chose pile two, a possible astral combo is Sun and Leo, Capricorn rising, Moon and Gemini. It's one possibility of many. That's what I'm seeing for pile two. This reading is going to be short, no dice or anything extra. It's really late in San Antonio. Everyone's sleeping. I wanted to put this out because I just did another video that the views are absolutely terrible. And I was expecting that, so I want to get the views up. So if this resonates at all, feel free to let me know. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my numerous playlists. Check out my Zodiac readings. Muchas gracias. And if you chose the angel, pile three, here is your reading. The Samira May Tarot. I bought this at Etsy a few months ago. Temperance. Seven of Cups. Five of Cups. The Morgan Greer Tarot. Three of Swords. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Messy Tarot, one of my mini decks available at makeplaincards.com. King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. The Devil. No, it's way too many. Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Four of Cups. What you don't see about yourself is that you have masochistic tendencies. You tend to create these really challenging situations for yourself. Um, you could fall in love with people who are emotionally unavailable. You could have a habit. There could be a pattern in your life falling for people who are married or they're a lot older than you are. Um, you're only interested if the odds are stacked against you. You're not interested in something easy. You could go out on a date with someone and they're attractive, you have things in common, but if there's not some kind of friction or some kind of challenge, you're not really interested. You create these impossible situations for yourself is what I'm seeing. You may have a tendency to create a lot of drama around you. I'm seeing a drama magnet. You may obsess over what people think about you. Um, you could be a love addict. You could be codependent. You feel like if you're not in a crazy, passionate, tumultuous romantic sexual relationship, your life has no value. If things are just going along at a steady pace and things are just humdrum, mediocre, you feel like life has no value. You want the high. You want the rush of being in love. Um, you could be In relationships, you find yourself getting into these relationships often where it's on again, off again. It's the roller coaster. There could be months 
months, years in some cases, months, years of no communication and the person starts blowing up your phone and you just get really excited and giddy. Um, you live for the thrill of the chase. When it's easy, you're not interested. You could have a tendency to form these really toxic attachments. If your life is not stable, it's because you don't want it to be. You like instability. This is the card of unrequited love. That could be a pattern in your life. You fall for people who don't give you much. People who don't really show up emotionally. They don't give you much back. Addiction. I'm seeing a love addiction for pile three. If you chose pile three, a possible astro combo. I feel like you are a 12th houser. Um, So you could have Sun in Aquarius, Pisces rising, which would make you a 12th house or 12th house, the house of Pisces. Sun in Aquarius, Pisces rising, Moon in Taurus, that's one possibility of many. You probably have a really complicated chart like mine, a chart that's just all over the place with a lot of stuff in the mutable signs, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini. There is a tendency, if there is an emphasis on the mutable signs in your natal chart, there's a tendency to be fickle in love. And it takes you a while to really figure out what you want in a healthy romantic sexual relationship. It takes you a while to um, settle down so, short reading, no dice, no scrabble tiles. That's what I have for pile three. If that resonates at all, feel free to let me know. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. Check out my numerous playlists and my zodiac readings, which is gracias. And if you chose El Gato, pile four, here is your reading. The Samirame Tarot, I purchased this at Etsy several months ago. We have the Magician. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. Morgan Greer Tarot. Knight of Rods, I prefer Wands, Knight of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Messy Tarot, one of my mini decks available at makeplaincards.com. Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Sex is really important to you. You have a really strong libido. You are not going to be happy in a sexless relationship or um, you're not going to be happy in a relationship where the emphasis is on status quo or how it looks on social media. It has to be good in the bedroom. You have to have heat. You have to have intensity. You have to have passion or you're not going to be happy. You don't want a companion. You don't, you don't want someone who's going to provide you with financial security or status quo, whatever. Um, you've got to have chemistry with your partner. And you don't want sex for the sake of sex. It has to be really good, lusty sex. You could have a fetish or fetishes. Um...
the best romantic sexual relationship of your life if you chose pile four. It could be with someone who is a few years younger or older. I'm seeing an age gap five years or more. You're going to manifest this relationship when you're in a really high vibration, when you're creating. It could be art, it could be music, it could be writing. But when you're in the flow and you're on fire and you're married to the moment and you're putting it down on canvas or the page or you're pounding the drums, whatever, that's when you're going to manifest this really fucking gratifying relationship. It could be like John and Yoko. You make music together, you create art together, you protest together. Um, it's going to be a partnership this marriage you're going to be equals but you're going to be alone for a while glowing up working on your coin before you manifest this optimal life partnership um, you can't manifest this or anything from five of pentacles if you're feeling shitty about yourself if you're feeling like your life has no value unless you're in a relationship you're going to have a hard time manifesting this um, you don't see how independent you are you don't see how well you could do on your own perhaps you don't see how smart you are um, it could be you're neglecting your sexuality Orgasms are very important to you, so maybe rather than settling for some mediocre relationship, if you're a woman, invest in a vibrator or two. I have four. So, um, you don't have to be with someone just to be with someone. You can be alone and you can have a vibrator or vibrators. Orgasms are important. You're not going to be happy in a partnership where it's not equal, where, well, one example of many, say you're married to someone and they're making a lot of money and you're at home all the time. You're not going to be happy in that. So a possible astral combo if you chose El Gato, the black cat, Pal 4, you could have Sun and Gemini, Sagittarius Rising, Moon and Libra, just one possibility. That's what I see. That's what I have. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.